What's up dreamers? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you aren't a dreamer already, I do makeup, I do art, I do really anything I want. But for today, I'm going to be doing this creepy little clown makeup. I hope you guys enjoy. Without further loot, without further ado, let's get into it. Jumping right in, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. This is their new one. Oh my gosh, I love this stuff already. For now, I'm going to go ahead and just put this on the top portion of my forehead because I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom later. For my brows, I'm going to be using the NYX Cosmetics Fill and Fluff Brow Pencil. I love this. It has like a beautiful little angle to it. Then to further define my brows, I'm going to be using the House Laboratories Liquid Eyeliner. This is in Punk. And pause. So basically the color combo on my nose and on the brow bone is what I'm going to be replicating on my eye. So that's why I went ahead and did that off camera. But let's get back to it. Y'all already know I use my trusty NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk for my base. Then I'm going to go in with the Stupid Love Palette by House Laboratories. And I'm going to be dipping into the color called Peace and then just setting that shape that I have on the corner of my eye. Using the same NYX Jumbo Pencil on Milk, I'm going to create the shape I would like and then I'm going to be hopping into my Beauty Bay Bright Palette. To set that, I'm going to be using the color Make Them Wink. The next product I'm going to be using today is the NYX Cosmetics Epic Wear Liquid Liner. This one is in yellow. So it was very hard to record this on camera, but basically you see the circle and then you see the outer corner and then the inner corner. You're going to fill in the colors that you would like and then outline like on the top of the brow with yellow. There you have it, bada bing bada boom, the eye makeup is done. Now I'll be using the Mayron Liquid Latex Clear. Let me be clear, this I do not like. The beige one is stronger and it is thicker, so this was a terrible buy, I don't rec recommend it, but I'll be using it today. I'm going to first map out where I want my scar tissue to be. Then we'll be using the Ben Nye Nose and Scar Wax. I love this stuff, but it's very sticky and hard to manipulate, so you have to use a lotion or oil. Today I'll be using the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. This is a dental or medical tool. You can get these very cheap off Amazon. I'll put one in the description box below. But I'm going to just grab a little of the nose and scar wax and start rolling it out with the moisturizer into like a little warm shape. And then we're going to place that onto the desired shape. There are different shapes to these medical tools. So you want to use one that's flat or has a round edge so you can flatten your worm like shape and then blend out the edges with the moisturizer. After blending it as humanly possible, you're going to go in with your liquid latex and lightly do a thin layer to secure your prosthetic in place. If you're using a brush like me, be sure that you never want to use it ever again because it will mess up your brush. If you've noticed on my eye, I only blended one edge, but on the lips, you're going to want to blend both sides of the shape because we're not wanting to have a jagged shape here. Keep in mind when blending these edges, you want to continuously put product of the moisturizer because if not, then it will warm up and then it will stick to your spatula or medical tool and it will just mess everything up. And you'll actually see me do this um, and it's not cute, so I had to fix it. Now for the fun part, you're going to want to use the sharper edge of the tool with the moisturizer to cut a slit through the shape that you just made. And this is where it went to crap. So I had to replace the liquid latex, replace the nose and scar wax, and re-blend it, and then recut it so that I could have a desired shape that I want. Mm -hmm. 
After you're happy with your shape, you're gonna go ahead and put some liquid latex on that. The thinner, the better, and I did about two layers of this. Using my Fill Up Orange Touch and Soul palette, I'm going to go ahead and use this beautiful little one shade in here. I'm going to be placing that onto my beard and mustache area because I did not shave, so I'm color correcting for this. To make sure my color correction doesn't move, I'm going to be setting it with the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Powder. It's almost like a, like a banana powder. I really like it. It's like a beige tone. I'm going to be using that to set my prosthetics and also so my color correction doesn't move. Then I'll be using the same Born This Way Matte Foundation to cover the rest of my face. Don't forget your ears if you need to or your neck like I am because it's, it's a little, a little, a little darker, but it's fine. It's fine. It really does. You just blend it. You good. Here I'm using a tiny brush to the prosthetics because I don't want to ruin my work that I put there. And if you used a big brush, you could possibly rip off your prosthetic. I will be combining the NYX Cosmetics California Beeman and the Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop Highlighter just to give myself a little bit of glow. To fill in my wounds, I will be using the Snazaroo Face Paints Red and Black. This is a water activated paint. I basically used different shades of red to give this depth. I went off with a bright red and then I went in with a medium red and then I went in with like a blackish dark blood 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 red. You can be extra with this and put this really all over your face in different spots. I did it kind of sparingly because I want to make it look like I'm a bloody mess, but also like, uh, like a, like a, like a, what's the, how do you say it? Like a, like a stabilized chaotic mess. I don't know how you say that. I basically mean like a, like a planned mess, if that means like an organized mess. Like it was, it was meant to be there. So to really give this depth, each shade that is darker, you're going to put it closer to the wound as if it's almost like an ombre so that it makes it look like it's deeper or farther, if that makes sense. To really give this more depth, I'm going to be using the Ben Nye Fresh Scab. This is like a coagulated blood. It's like a gel almost or like a, a jelly. And you're going to put that right in the center of your wound. And that's really going to make it look deep and like ugh. For the lips, I popped on some jumbo pencil and milk, and then I blended out the edges. I'm gonna just put some pink and purple, call it a day, just to tie into the eyes. And bada bing, bada boom. That is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy. I popped in some creepy contacts. These are by TTDI. If you want creepy contacts, you can go ahead and use Cold Dreams for 10% off your order. I love you guys all so much. Love, light, and unity. And I'll see you guys next week on Gay About Dreams.